Hey everyone, it's Rami. Uh, I'm gonna build a 486 today, and I figured I would make a video on it. It's not gonna be like anything new. I it's just that my original motherboard from that 486 video I made two years ago, that thing died on me. So, um, I mean, it still works, but it's not really. I can't really play any games with sound on it anymore. And I'm gonna try to fix it and see what what happens. I should just make a video of that on my own, but essentially the problem is that none of the sound cards I tried work, none of the controller cards I tried work, none of the, you know, anything works. The, or the RAM, all the RAM I've tried doesn't work, and it just locks up every time digitized sound plays. So I just figured I would work on that motherboard on its own and get a new one for this computer. So let's take a look at the parts that I've picked. Most of this stuff is not really new. This is stuff that I've used in my in the computer when it was in the old motherboard. Uh, this is my Sound Blaster 16 CD1770. It's got a SCSI connector there, which is pretty freaking cool. I don't have any SCSI devices, but that should come in handy if I ever get some. And of course, I need my Sound Blasters all to have the OPL3 or OPL2. It's just the, the sound that I want. Here's my video card. That's the Trident TGUI9400. It's good for like Windows. And here's the motherboard. This is uh, the new motherboard I got. This came from Ukraine. It's got my favorite, you know, the DX266. It's got my old BIOS, same one from the old motherboard. American Megatrends 93. The chipset's from Opti. Never used one of those before. I've got the 256 kilobytes of cache. These are UMC 64 megabytes each. And I've got my two sticks of RAM. I already made a video putting these in, but I'm filming this out of order. And uh, this is a must have on a 486 board in my opinion. Just make sure to get that. That's really important. You don't want that battery. You don't want to have a leaky battery on these boards. That'll destroy them. If you leave them off for too long, they will leak. I'm talking like it's a matter of years. If you leave them off, they'll just start leaking. And we've got eight bit, uh, eight 16 bit ISA slots and three Visa local bus slots, which is really nice. This is a good motherboard. I really like this thing. This is my old AT case. I mean, is she a beauty or what? Luckily, this is not a new old stock. I've had this forever. So it's all configured with that, you know, the megahertz display is working and the power supply is connected up and everything, so I don't need to do that anymore. That was a pain in the ass when I had to do that in my new old stock 486 case. I'll make a video about that system on its own. That build was really stressful. But yeah, this should just be like a regular build. Just putting the motherboard in and hooking everything up. Should be good, hopefully it'll work. And here's the other random stuff. There's my, um, box full of accessories like the standoffs and stuff my thermal paste my cooler I'm gonna use that cooler uh, we've got this thing here one thing I want to mention about these coolers actually uh, if you take these and you use them on these motherboards they have a design flaw unfortunately where like you put the cooler on right here on the 486 and then you can't use a long card like one of these sound blasters you won't be able to install this because it'll run it, it'll knock into the cooler. And unfortunately, you can't use these in the particular case that I have because it's too small. So I'm gonna need to use this Sound Blaster 16 in one of the VLB slots if I'm gonna have clearance. All right. Boom, baby. There we go.
All right, let's install this thing. Just goes in like this. And then I shall screw this in like that. And that's how AT computers, some of them come together. I like this design, you know, it's nice. Now for the P8, P9. This is always annoying. Can, can't really get a good angle on this thing. It's so cramped and crowded in here. Fuck. Sorry, I had to do a jump cut there. That P8, P9 connector in particular was really annoying. I had to really, you know, take my time with it. <laughs> Took care of all this business off camera because this was really delicate and tedious and I just wanted to focus on it, but yeah. There really wasn't much for me to plug in, like, keyboard lock didn't really match this connector and everything but yeah that's what I got next up is to install some cards starting with the IO controller I'm gonna put this in the very top slot actually no wait that's, uh, let's see make use of one of the CPU slots actually this one would be perfect but I have a bracket here for some reason a very modern bracket too. I don't need that. <laughs> Here we go. This should go perfectly because it's right in that slot that the CPU is. I like to support the motherboard from the back. Make sure I'm not warping it. There's that one. Time for the video card now. This one is going to go right here in the very bottom slot. Got to be very careful with these. My motherboard here does not have standoffs at the very, very end. So what I got to do is support it with my hand when I put it in. Yeah, it's going to block the whole thing. <laughs> Get this. Oh, my hand's gonna be completely in the way of my hairy ass hand. Oh god, this is gonna be painful. Man, that is one tight fit in those VLB slots. Definitely, definitely support the bottom of the board when you're plugging those in. That's just like, yeah, you'll really mess your board up if you don't do that. All right. Time for the sound card, the Sound Blaster 16 CT1770. Like that. That is a nice Sound Blaster. I love it. Got my CD drive hooked up and everything now. Need to get that CD audio cable here. Plug this into the sound card. Ah, I wanna get under here. Floppy drive was actually already connected. This PC case and the controller card I had were just sitting together with the things connected. All right, everything's in here, hooked up. Looking good. Gonna need to find myself some slot covers. I have a case cover for the whole thing as well that will go on it once this is done. Got my hard drive hooked up, my CD-ROM drive, my floppy drive. Ugh, I'm nervous, but hopefully we'll, we'll get a working computer out of this. All right, moment of truth. I'm so, my heart is pounding, I'm so scared. We got a signal. 
We got an error. Come on, show me the signal. Hey, CMOS. I have a feeling that C that CR2032 is dead, but you never know. Sometimes they're they're good. Um okay. There's my hard drive. I have my real hard drive in here. Gorgeous real sound. I love it. Um wait, hang on a second. Floppy A is a 144 meg. And I really don't care about date and time at the moment. I just, I'll, I'll do all that later. This is just about my hard drive. See if I can boot back into my old system. Please? There's my Trident. Welcome back, baby! Yes! <laughs> Of course I have a different CPU. When I um Oh. Also my sound card is not installed. I got to install that again. That's a real bummer. I'm gonna have to bust out my GoTech. Does my Windows still work? Yeah, I think it's gonna give me a blue screen because I deleted a few important files back in the day, but that happened in my old computer too, my old motherboard. Yep. It just does it, you know, you can bypass it, you hit enter and it goes away. Sorry about the bars, I can't sync it. Hey, 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 there's my old desktop! Yeah, baby! Oh my god, I love this. I never thought I would see this again. This is beautiful. Let's see if I can do this real quick. If I can just use Diagnose and get my sound card working. Good start so far. IRQ5, DMA channel 1. High DMA5. Good. It works, I can hear it, I just had my thing turned down. Let's try it again. Yes. 16-bit testing. See, my computer would crash, my old motherboard would crash when I tried this. That's, oh, ad-lib, ad-lib, I, I love it. Oh, beautiful. works. Oh yes! No sound. Let's see if I can fix that. Alright, let's see if this fixed it. I added some stuff to the auto exec and config.sys. Boom. Looks like we got it. Oh wait, that's the wrong thing. It's called Bad Game. <laughs> when I was a little kid, my dad named Doom Bad Game. Because he wanted to hide it from me. <laughs> Listen to that hard drive. Oh, you can't really hear it now. Wow! Volume is loud. Yes! <laughs> we got our sound, baby! So yeah, my 486 is pretty much fully operational now. And now, 
we shall sit back and enjoy some DOS games.
cover on here once and for all love the screwdriver so handy it's a magnetic thing yeah so glad to see this thing back in action now. Well, there you have it. There's the 486 build. Really happy with this thing. It's good to have it back. I love this computer. Got my old zip drive back on there and my stack of games. Pardon the spackled walls. I still got to paint this place. <laughs> but yeah, um, hopefully I'll be able to, you know, keep this for much longer than I kept the older one. Anyway, thanks for watching. That was lots of fun. Catch you next time.